Hey everybody, Jeffrey Way here. Welcome to a new edition of the Net.Touch Plus Screencast of the Week. Today we're going to be working with Code Igniter, which is a first for these weekly or bi-weekly tutorials. Uh, I've been just getting into it and I'm loving it. What's so great is you can just immediately get right into building these huge applications because the learning curve is so low. You, the, uh, the user guide is fantastic and I really recommend you guys take a look at it if you haven't already or any other framework for that matter. They're all going to be good. What we're going to do today is build a simple upload form where users can upload an image. It will then do validation of the image. It's then going to create a thumbnail of the image and save both of them. So you'll find uh, with normally doing this with raw PHP, it would take quite a while to do all the validation and then create the thumbnails and save the files. It's pretty intensive. With Code Igniter, we'll be able to do that in maybe 10 minutes. It might take a little bit longer with explanation, but it's it's very rapid. So. Let's get right into it. Uh, let me show you what we're going to build first. Very, very simple example. Uh, we go here and let's first start by choosing a non-image. Okay, the file type is not correct. Good. Now let's open uh, one of these sample images uh, from the marketplaces. And you can see here it says, congratulations, your image was uploaded. And here's the image that was saved as well as the thumbnail that was created. We'll do this very quickly. So I'm going to come back to TextMate close this out whoops close that out and we will begin from scratch uh, completely from scratch actually downloading the framework codeigniter.com go ahead and download that I'm going to close this out and we don't need that example anymore and we will unzip this and I'm going to drag it into my htdocs folder so let's create a file for our project called image upload and what I'm going to do now is grab that code igniter file and just bring it in. Okay, we don't need the user guide, but I do recommend you keep that, and we'll get rid of the license too. So let's br bring that in and close that out too soon. Image upload. One thing I want to do here, real quickly, is I do prefer to bring my application folder outside of my system. You don't have to do this, but a lot of people do prefer it. Uh, they think it's just a little bit cleaner. So we are all set to go. Let's go to TextMate. And once again, I close that too soon. Drag that into TextMate. All right, we are all set to go. The first step is to go ahead and create that upload form. So I'm going to go to Application and Controllers. And we're going to create a new controller. And I'm going to call this Upload.php. All right. So, and you know what? That should be uppercase, shouldn't it? open up our PHP and we will do class upload and of course it's going to extend the controller and if we want to create the constructor we need to make sure that we use the PHP 4 method which is just naming it the same name as our class and we need to reattach the controller so parent controller and then let's create our index this is the default function that will run when the page is loaded kind of like an index.html it's It'll automatically run. And the first thing that I want to do is just load our view. So this, if you're not familiar with the uh, the MVC pattern, I do recommend that you do a little bit of research to understand exactly how it works because at first it is definitely hard to wrap your head around it when you're used to uh, a different method. So we're going to load our view and we're going to call this, let's say, upload form. All right. With that done, we're going to go to our views and create our upload form. Upload form.php. All right. Let's get rid of JavaScript. No need for that. And what we'll do here is create an h2 tag and we'll say uh, upload an image. So now we need to actually create our form. We're going to use a few PHP helpers to take care of this for us. Uh, not entirely, but we're going to use um, Code Igniter to open the form. So we're going to do echo form open. And remember, when we're uploading files, we need to set the ENC type to multi part. So we're going to do form open multi part. And within here, this is where the action is going to be directed to. So we know our name of our controller is upload. The method we want to direct it to is going to be called, and we haven't created this yet, but I'm going to call it do upload. All right. Uh, the next step is to create our file input, so input type 
equals file. Uh, with Code Igniter, when working with the um, the file uploader, it's going to expect that this name is called user file, which is a little bit irritating, but that's what it expects. And that should be good. And then the final thing, of course, is to create our submit button. So input type equals submit. Uh, the value is going to be submit, and we'll give it a name of submit as well. Last step is to close out our form. So once again, PHP, we could close it normally or use echo form close. All right. Now, in order to be working with these, uh, these Code Igniter helpers, we need to either auto-load it when our project begins or do it within our constructor. I'm going to do it both ways just for you. Uh, what we'd want to do is within our const constructor function, we would do this load helper. And if we want to do more than one, we'd put in an array. But here, we're just doing one, so we would do form. But what I'm going to do instead is auto load it. So we're going to go to the auto load within the config folder. And we're going to come down here. This is where we can auto load our libraries like database. Uh, there's usually some, like if you're always working with a database, go ahead and auto load that. But we want right here is the auto load helper. So if we come down to our system folder and we look over our helpers, these are all, these are just a collection of functions that we can use. We're going to utilize this form helper function. So we're going to do form. And now we have access to those functions. And now we can use form open, form close. Otherwise, we could not. So I think this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and view this in the browser and see if I forgot anything. So let's go to localhost. Whoops. What did we call it? Image upload. And we haven't rewritten the index.php, so we need to add that. And the name of our controller is upload. All right, pretty much what you would expect, right? Now, we haven't written any of the functionality, but we'll do that right now. If we come back to our upload form, I'll close this out. You'll remember that we set the action to upload slash do upload. This is the name of our method. So we can go and write that one right now. Function do upload. Uh, here's what we need to do. Uh, we need to set some configuration options. Uh, we need to maybe tell it what file, type, file types are allowed, uh, the path to our uploads folder, that's important, uh, the max size it can be, a width, a height, things like that. So we're going to store that within a config array. All right? And I'm going to copy this because we're going to use it a bunch of times. The first one is going to be upload path, the path to our uploads directory. And that's going to be equal to upload slash. Now, we have not created that yet, and we're going to put that into the root of our directory. So we're going to, I'm sorry, not a file, create a new folder, and I'm going to call it uploads. And obviously, you want to make sure that you have right privileges to that. I believe uh, these do by default, but you might want to just check and make sure that you um, mod 777 it. So let's come back, and the next one that we're going to take care of is the allowed types. What kind of file types can we use? And this will be called allowed types. And this will be a string of the extension. So we're going to do GIF or what else? JPEG or JPEG, the other format, or PNG. And I think that's fine for now. The next one I want to do is uh, the max size. How large can the file size be? Let's set this to 1,000. You can change that if you want. That's a little under a meg. Uh, the next one is going to be the max width. We don't want people uploading these, you know, 5 gig files. And although we've set a size, they could still upload a really large, uh, a really wide file. So max width, uh, let's set that to 1920. And the next one, uh, the max height, of course. And I'm going to set that. These are somewhat arbitrary values, but I'm going to do um, 12, 1280 maybe. Uh, the next one is we need to actually load the library. Remember, we're working with a new uh, library. So we need to, whoops, we need to go ahead and load that. So this load. And this time, rather than a helper, we're actually loading a library. And the library we're going to work with is the upload library. OK? 
Okay. Or, once again, we could auto-load that if we wanted to. So we're going to be doing it both. Normally, I would probably auto-load this one. And we need to pass some values to it. And we're going to pass this config array that we created. All right. So now it knows everything we need. Now, when we load this, uh, we need to actually call a function called do upload. So, for example, uh, we would do this. And by the way, because we've loaded this library, we can now access this class, so this upload. And we need to call a method called do underscore upload. Now, this is probably my fault. Don't confuse this with this. These are not the same. We're not calling this function. We're calling a method within the upload class. Now, when we call do upload, uh, it's going to return a Boolean, true or false. So what we should do is find out, did it work successfully? So we'll do that with an if statement. If, if that was performed successfully, or better yet, let's check to see if it didn't perform, then we want to echo out what the problem was, right? So let's echo this upload display errors. So we're basically saying if there was a problem, go ahead and display all the errors that did occur. And I'm doing this on one line. You could do uh, the brackets, but I think that's fine. Now, if there was not a problem, we know it did perform successfully. So we need to actually uh, upload all of this information. So what I'm going to do here is let's create a new variable called fInfo for file info. And that's going to be this upload data. Now, data is going to be an array that contains all of the information about the upload, uh, the name of the file, the raw file name, the extension, the file size. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this, just so you have an idea. Print r f info and close out our pre. I want to do this just so you understand what we're working with. So let's refresh and let's browse for an image. Now this isn't going to work just yet, but if we submit, ooh, do upload, upload stuff, do upload, just a moment. We haven't set our base URL just yet, so let's go ahead and fix that real quickly. We know our base URL is going to be this right here, so I'm going to come back. Sorry about that. We're going to go to application. And we're going to come down to config, and we're going to roots. And we're going to set the, I'm sorry, not the default controller. Let's go to the configuration and set the base URL. Right now it's set to example.com, but we're going to change it to my local server. So let's try that one more time. Submit. And now here is the array that's returned. So you can see the file name, a lot of useful information here, even things like uh, the raw name. The name of this image is just one, if you're curious. Uh, the file extension, the file size, a lot of nice stuff that you can work with here. So let's go ahead and close that out. And I'm also going to close that roots. And we're going to get rid of all this right here. Let's continue on. Uh, the next step is to create the thumbnail. So we're going to do this. And we're going to call a function called create. I'm sorry, a method called create thumbnail. Now, I haven't created that just yet. Now, remember, if we uh, these methods are accessible via the browser just by adding the second segment. If you do not want a method to be available to uh, the users, you proceed it with an underscore. All right. So here, we're not going to get started on this just yet, but we'll do function create thumbnail. Notice the underscore at the very beginning restricts it from being viewed in the browser. All right. So we're going to do file, create thumbnail, and we need to pass in. Uh, this is going to accept a file name. So it needs to know what file are we creating a thumbnail from, right? So we'll do file name, and we need to make sure that we pass that file in. Now remember, we created this fInfo, and that, that is equal to an array. So if we want to find the file name, it's going to be fInfo, and then this array item, file name. So what we'll do here is... Uh, create thumbnail and then within it we're going to pass f info and then the name of that file so that looks pretty good there the next step is to uh, create a, a, a data array that we can pass to our upload success page we need to be able to pass some information to let the user know that their file was 
uh, in fact uploaded. So let's create this data array. And the first one I want to uh, send is the upload information. I want to send them basically this array. So we'll just make that equal to fInfo. And the next one I want to do is let's call this one thumbnail name. I need to be able to send to our upload success page the name of the, the thumbnail file. And I'll explain that a little bit more shortly. So that's F info, and this actually requires a little bit more work. When uh, CodeIgniter creates a thumbnail, it takes your file and it appends underscore thumb dot jpg. So in this case, when it creates the thumbnail, it'll be one underscore thumb dot jpg. Now it's possible that there's an easier way to gain access to this file name, but the way I've been doing it is by doing F info, and we're going to first start by getting the actual file name, so the raw name. If we come back, you'll see the raw name is just the beginning file name, one in this case. And then we're going to append to that uh, underscore thumb, because that's the way CodeIgniter names them. And then also, we're going to add the extension, and that is stored within this file ext.jpg. We can't assume that it's a JPEG, it may be a ping. Uh, and then we're once again going to do f info file extension. Okay, so let's just go back over this. When the user chooses a file, they click on the submit button. They're then directed to this method. This sets some configuration items. We load the upload library, otherwise this wouldn't work. And then we call the do upload, which actually performs the upload. Now, if that did not perform successfully, we display any errors that might have might have occurred. But if it did work well, uh, we go ahead and grab the array of items, store that in an fInfo variable, and then we call this create thumbnail method that we have yet to create. And then we create uh, just an array, and then we send the user to a success page because everything performed successfully. So we'll do this, load, view, and we're going to call this one upload success. All right. Now, in order to pass values to our page, we're going to do comma data. And now uh, we can pass all of these items to our upload success page. And then thumbnail, I'm sorry, thumbnail underscore name will be made available to us just as a normal variable, not as an array item. So I'm going to leave the create thumbnail because we're not going to work on that just yet. Let's go ahead and create that new view. Upload success. And within here, let's just add a little more basic HTML. And what we're going to do here is, let's say, P, congratulations, your, your photo has been uploaded successfully. All right, that looks good. Uh, what we want to do next is, let's just give them a little bit of information. So let's create a definition list. This is something that's not used near enough uh, when it should be. I think most people don't really know how to use them. Uh, in this case, we're going to be showing the user like the name of the file and then a value, uh, maybe the extension of the file and then a value, uh, a size of the file and then a value. So when you have that kind of definition and term, you should be using a definition list. That's what it was made for. So the first one is going to be the definition term, and that's going to be file name. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, the details, and that's going to be, uh, we'll use PHP short tags here, and we're going to do upload info, and what do we want here? The file name. So remember that array that I showed you? This is what's storing that. So just in case you're new to CodeIgniter, let me explain this a little more. Upload info, where is this coming from? Well, if we come back, we passed this data array to the page. So you can see when we passed it, all of the items in the array became available to us just as ordinary, I'm sorry, just as ordinary variables. You can see right there. And of course we need to prepend that as a variable. So coming back, this is equal to F info. So this is equal to that array. So we're simply doing that array item and then find the file name. Easy peasy. So the next one we want to do is, and you know, I don't want to worry about this too much because it's not altogether necessary, but let's do uh, file size. And perhaps we should have a bit of spacing there. And the, uh, the definition is, once again, 
upload info, and we need to pass in the file size. And let's do just one more uh, file extension. I don't know why we'd need to tell the user what the file extension is, but let's just go ahead and do that. Upload info, and I believe it's file ext. Okay, so resend, and now we have congratulations, your photo has been uploaded successfully. And let's see, if you come down to our uploads folder that we created, you can see, in fact, yes, the image was uploaded, so great. I'm going to go ahead and delete those, because we, whoops, I'm going to delete these. And let's do a real quick bit of styling. This is, I think this is why people don't use definition list enough. They think, oh, what would I do with that? And of course, we can style it with CSS the way we would anything else. And don't worry, I'm not doing more than a few properties of CSS. So if you don't want to watch this, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, let's just do uh, the definition term. This is the only property we'll do. Let's just make it bold. Um, float it to the left to get rid of that spacing and let's just add a little padding to the right maybe one in resend yeah basically something like that so we are all set with our upload form uh, why don't we also show the user the image that they did upload that might be nice so image source alt your image And the source is going to be, we're going to have to add some PHP here. So let's do uh, echo the base URL. And the base URL is going to be equal to uh, basically this extension, this, uh, this string right here. Now, we only have access to the base URL because we did set the base URL right here. So you can see that's how we have access to it. So once again, let's close, close that out. And we're going to do echo, or we can do the short tags, and we'll do base URL. And then the next one is, let's do, it's going to be stored within the Uploads folder, because that's where we saved it. And what else? Uh, then we need to actually grab the name of the file. So let me think. We'll do um, Upload Info, File Name. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's come back and double check. No, looks like I made a mistake. Let's view the source. And the image isn't showing up. Maybe I forgot a tag. Ah, it's it's because, uh, once again, if we want to have access to these Code Igniter helpers, we need to actually uh, reference them. So I'm going to go ahead and auto load. And if you come down to helper, we also want to auto load the URL helper. All right. If we want to work with the base URL, we need those functions. Otherwise, where are you going to get them, right? So now let's try it one more time. I think that should fix it. And it did. So we're all set to go. I'm going to come back to my uploads folder and delete these just so we don't have all these extra files. And we'll close out the auto load. And I think the uh, upload success is fine. Let's do one more just to show the thumbnail as well. So we're going to echo the base URL. It's going to be stored within the Uploads folder as well. If we wanted, we could also create a subfolder, maybe called TN for thumbnails, but I'm not going to worry about that in this case. And instead of Upload Info, if you remember, we also sent a thumbnail underscore name variable over. So let's go ahead and change that. Thumbnail name. And let's just get rid of that. And I think that should do it. Now, we have not yet created the thumbnail yet, so we can't verify this, but I'm sure it's going to work. And I'm going to change this to your thumbnail. And I think that's going to be just fine for our upload success. So now, all we need to do is actually create the thumbnail, and that takes no time at all. Once again, all we need to do is set up some configuration options. So config... And the first one, uh, let's do what image library are we going to be using? We're going to be using the GD2. So GD2. Uh, the next one, whoops, 
the next one we want to take care of is the source image. What file are we going to reference? Uh, well, we know it's stored within the uploads folder, and we want to grab that file name, right? So I'm using single quotes here. Let's just concatenate. Now remember, file name. How, where is this file coming from? If we come back, this create thumbnail, it's the name of the file that was uploaded. Remember, it was stored in that array, so that's how we have access to it. Uh, the next one is the uh, create thumb. Are we actually going to create a thumbnail for this? Yes. The next one is going to be uh, should we maintain the ratio? And basically, uh, if we have maintain ratio turned off, it'll automatically use whatever dimensions that we set. But if we want to maintain the ratio, then it will uh, change those dependent upon the size of the file. The next one is going to be the width. How wide do we want it to be? Now this is totally up to you. I'm going to let's do a small sum thumbnail. So let's do 75. And then the final one is height. Now this may seem like a lot of code, but it really isn't. We're just setting configuration options. This is really not code at all, just options. And that should be it. So if we want to create our thumbnail, we need to work with a new class called the Image Manipulation class. So this uh, load library, and the name of the library is going to be called image underscore lib for image library. Now we need to pass some values to this just like we did before. And once again, we're going to pass those configuration options. All right. So we've loaded the library. Now we need to actually call the method. So this, because we've loaded that library, we now have access to that image library class. And the name of the, the method that we're going to run is called, um, what is it called? Resize. That's right. Resize. Now, once again, this is going to return a Boolean. So let's wrap that in an if statement once again. So if not, if it did not return true, we know there was an error. And in that case, once again, let's echo this um, image library display errors. Notice the similarities between the classes. They keep them very similar. That way, uh, it's very easy to work across the different ones. I think that should be it. So that's really all the code we need for creating our thumbnail. Look at that. It's almost all configuration, and then you just call it. So set our configuration options. These are Some of these can even be left out. We've determined we want it to be 75 pixels by 75 pixels. We've loaded the library. Once again, if you want, you can auto-load that. And then we call the resize method. And we say if that did not return true, there was a problem. And in that case, just display the errors to us. And I think that might be it. So let's go back to upload. And we're going to, let's check out our uploads folder. And there's nothing in it right now, so that's good. And let's upload an image. So let's choose this one, submit. And congratulations, your photo has been successfully uploaded. I'm on such a low resolution, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And you can see there's our information about this specific file. And there's the thumbnail that it created for us. So now we come down, we see two, two thumb. Let's try one more just to make sure it's working. Let's this time do four. I have no idea what this is. And this is another one of Cyan's. Uh, there's our thumbnail. Here's the dynamic information. Come back, and it's working. So pretty neat. I, I spent quite a bit of time to kind of teach you because I'm assuming you're new to Code Igniter. But once you get into this, you'll. I could have created this in maybe maybe five to ten minutes, especially this is what's amazing right here. Creating the thumbnail is just the, a matter of setting a few configuration options and calling the resize method. There's even more. You could set a, uh, a watermark if you want, and it's just as easy. If you want to research that, do a search for Code Igniter image manipulation class. So let's go over what we did here because we actually did oh, a heck of a lot. Let me go back to my controller, and we have our upload. I'm sorry, let's go to the view, upload form. So when the page loads, by the way, this is the end of the tutorial. If you totally understand it, thank you so much for watching. If you want a quick refresh, let's go over it real quickly before I end. Uh, we create our upload class, and when the index function is called, we just go ahead and upload, I'm sorry, uh, load our view form, which is this page right here. Now, we've added a form. 
once the user clicks on the submit button, they're going to be directed to this do upload method, which is right here. We then set some configuration options. We load the library, I'm sorry, the upload library. That way we can work with those methods. And we call the do upload. That will take care of uploading for us. And if there's a mistake, we display the errors. If there's not a mistake, we, uh, we call our create thumbnail method. And then we also upload, I'm sorry, we call the upload success page. And this just contains some information about the user's page. When we call the create thumbnail, we just set some easy configuration options and we call, we obviously load the library. Never, if you ever do this and it doesn't work, make sure are you uploading, I'm sorry, are you referencing the library? And then we just call the resize method. So this is really easy stuff. So I hope you enjoyed doing this. Uh, if you have some CodeIgniter tips, be sure to let us know. And uh, if you'd like to see more CodeIgniter tutorials, be sure to let us know. I uh, have one of my authors working on a big series for our Plus program, kind of a from scratch series. So be looking for out for that in the next couple months. As always, be sure to follow us at twitter.com slash nettuts. And be sure to check out our Plus program. Uh, for $9 a month, you gain access to tons of freebies and tutorials and screencasts. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you later. Bye.